G'day guys, Matt Pauly here with a uh, personal update. Um, as some of you know, I struggle with uh, mental health issues. And as of uh, Sunday, that uh, old black dog, she got a little bit too close and uh, did something silly, which we won't mention because kids watch this. Uh, and uh, ended up hospitalised for a couple of days uh, at the lovely people at St John of God's. No, not St John of God's. One next to it. Fuck's it called? Fiona Stanley. Lovely, lovely staff there. Which ended up being a gigantic wake up call as uh, my mental health issues fueled along with my alcoholism and for the first time in my life I will call myself an alcoholic um, just compiled and crashed and I was lucky enough to have my wife with me at the time who said come on let's go get some help and uh, here we are now this video isn't uh, feel sorry for me I want to turn it around into a positive because at the time in the hospital I was trying to shut down this page, shut down all my personal pages and just try and disappear from the world, so to speak. Um, and she said, don't do that, just wait. You love doing your free locations, you love blah, blah, blah. And so uh, the fact that I couldn't work out how to do it. Um, so the page is still there. Uh, left it a few days. They've given me lots of drugs, lots of uh, thiamine, B1 basically, which gets leaked from inside your brain. Along with my lithium levels were all depleted, which uh, as bipolar people know, you need that to keep you uh, in the middle, out of the highs and out of the lows. Um, so, yep, very lovely stuff there. Filled me full of drugs, feel a lot better. Um, talking to the psychiatrist there as well. I'm now going to be going on to a uh, drug and alcohol preventative um, system, which is run through the, uh, the hospital there for our care patients. Um, and yeah, for the first time in my life, I'm actually gonna say alcohol's been a real, well, well not the first time, but it's, fucked my life to this point, quite honestly. And I'm just lucky to have so many friends and family that have <laughs> put up with my crap. Now, that's what I was trying to say. I don't want this to be a woe is me video, but I thought, if I'm gonna do it, let's take you guys along for the ride. And in doing so, I'm really hoping that I reach out to someone out there or a couple people that are having the same sort of issues to show you at the end of the day that it isn't too bad to ask for help. You're gonna feel like you're failing. I was lying there in hospital on the second day thinking this is just ridiculous. What am I doing here? I'm not a stupid person. I can spell cat. So, and you will feel awkward and like you failed but the people that are around you and love you want to help you and that's why you do it so if you're feeling bad reach out to them ask someone talk to them people always say ring me and you never do and, and i understand when you're down in that pit you're not thinking right you're not really wanting to talk to anyone at all but to move forward no more alcohol i've been introduced to this new drink called Kofi. Mmm, uh, delicious. Um, and you've got to get, while you're getting, while you're repairing, let's call it, you've got to keep your mind busy. You can't just sit there wallowing around. So you've got to get into the stuff you like, like riding motorbikes. I'm in a lovely uh, motorcycle club. And I know a lot of people outside of that club, in other clubs, and top people love riding. You're never sad riding a motorcycle, and that's 
that's a fact. Unless you're on a shit motorcycle, then, then you're pretty sad. But no, you'll never see a sad motorcyclist. Um, so if you're ever thinking about it, I started riding at the age of 40, turned 40 and went, you know what, <laughs> never learnt to ride a bike. So went out, did that, um, and I've loved it ever since. So if you're sitting there going, you know what, I've never ridden a motorcycle, I really wanted to, but my wife said, or my husband, or son dickhead said, don't do it because you'll die. Yeah, do it, because you're going to die anyway one day, so you may as well do something you like. Other thing is uh, animals. Get get into, if you love your animals, I've got my snakes, obviously. Beautiful snakes, beautiful snakes. Like my boy, grumpy boy here. Boimer python, lovely animals. Come here, mate. I know you don't really go around the neck too much, but you're gonna. There we go, nice piece of attire. <sighs> He'll just hang there. He's alive, I promise you. Oh, oh shit, me glasses. No crush now. I'm not wearing me glasses because the sun's out. It's reflecting. So I've got my Kofi, my motorbikes, my snake collecting. You guys out there, you help me very, very, very much. I love it when you send me pictures of animals that you've seen or you want me to ID or don't you go into the engine of that motorcycle, you fucker. So it does help me and I do enjoy it. People say, I'm sorry to bother you. It's never a bother. I love it. I keep doing it. It's good fun. And we learn something. And if I don't know what the animal is, I sure as shit try and find out for you. So it's gonna be an interesting uh, little journey that I'll take you on, update. It's not every day. There's gonna be personal stuff in there that you don't really wanna know about. And I'm not gonna tell you. The other thing I'm doing too is, I love tattoos. My wife hates them, but I like them. And my daughter's very good at drawing, so I'm doing my left leg with all the drawings on it. So I've already had a couple of them. Jeez, Christ, relax. As you know, we got this little one down at Reptile Rampage um, with the golden eyes. Wait, camera hog. I'm the star of the show. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, aptly named. Nurse Ratchet by my daughter. Um, and if you don't know who that is, then you should probably watch the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest or read the book or see the play. Oh, and the other thing that I do is I have my podcast. Sorry, I'm trying to do two things at once. My podcast with Jay from Jay Exotic. Great friend. And that's coming back. I was supposed to come back this Wednesday, yesterday, but see what happens when you do stuff, silly stuff, gets in the way of other people's enjoyment. Because there's out people out there that have been hanging on to, fuck me, this was stupid, hanging on to listen to the podcast to come back. There we go. And so next Wednesday, people, we are doing the first return episode. I think we have 24, 5, 26 episodes out there already floating around in cyberspace. Wherever your good podcast things are, go look it up. It's called Reptile Chat WA. And each episode's about an hour, so you've got about 26 hours. I think there's a couple that go for two, so... We'll still say 26 hours of listening. So you've got a bit of catching up to do if you want to get in on, on that action. Oh, God. I look all blotchy and horrible. Ugh. <laughs> Detoxing. So, yeah. And when you say, what do you mean you're an alcoholic? Well, when you're having 20 to 26 standard drinks every day, and I've been drinking pretty hard for the last... Twenty-six years. Hmm. I think that qualifies as uh, an alcoholic. 
Not anymore though. <clears throat> Four days sober. Last time I did it, I went 131 days and I was bored as shit and hated it. But I guess at the end of the day, I didn't really want to do it sober this time. Want to do it. And I have to take about five fucking pills every morning at the moment. And then another two at lunch and then another two at dinner. Uh, oh well. Happens, doesn't it? I mean, mmm, so much better than beer. I'm so happy. But this is the start and the beginning of a new chapter in life. Most of, if not all the people on my band shirts that, sorry, trying to unwrap a snake, on my band shirts, such as, are either dead or don't do drugs or alcohol anymore anyway, because fuck their life up. Think about that. Well, I think that's enough rambling in it. I hope that this goes out to people and encourages them to seek help uh, and speak to each other in the in the comment section below. I don't want any negativity and I don't want any we feel sorry for you because I'm still here. I need to feel sorry because I don't. I'm losing control here with my animals. But you'll sell me out on the road. Gonna go out to a lovely uh, clubhouse, another bike club's clubhouse on Friday, been invited, so looking forward to that. Uh, like I said, the uh, podcast, check that out. I'll put a link in the description up the top so you can click on it. It'll take you to that Facebook page. And from there, you'll see all the episodes we've done. So you should be able to just click on it and go into them. As we do the episodes, I will be putting them on the page here as well. And I don't know. This isn't scripted. It's very uh, candid, just open. So I don't know if anyone's going to get anything out of this. I'll get a little bit, but I hope someone does. Grumpy boy, um, where are you going? <sighs> but, as Ned Kelly said, such is life. <laughs> we shall move forward, though. And, uh, yeah, be good to each other out there, people. Until next time. <laughs>